Merry, neat, and blessed be. Tonight I'm going to show you how to bless a room, or also called Bethlehem in the Wiccan community. What you need is a white candle, some incense of your choice, a small dish of water, and some salt. Now, the first thing that we need to do is ground and center. First of all, take a deep breath in, hold, and let out. Visualize a golden light above, taking all your negativity away and a grounding light. Feel centered through your body. Now, once you have centered, gather around all your tools and think about how you're going to decorate your bathroom and make sure that you have all your tools so you don't have to run out the last minute. Now, first of all, I need to place the ingredients together. Here I'm adding the water. Now, the first step is <coughs> passing the bathroom through the smoke and say, With scented air, life and free, I give you breath, blessed be. Now, all through the process, imagine positive energy throwing through your hands <coughs> and going into the bedroom. Think of a white light passing from your arms into the bedroom, blessing it and charging it with positive energy. Now second would be passing the bedroom through the candlelight. But be careful, of course, not to let yourself or your besom. And say, With fire dancing wild and free, I give you passion, blessed be. Now the third step is water. Again say, with water pure I give to thee the blood of life, blessed be. Now, the last step is to sprinkle the besom with a little salt. In my case, I mixed it with herbs because it's more in touch with the earth. But either way, it can be herbs or salt. And to sprinkle the besom with salt to represent the earth. And say, Salt of earth I give to thee. Roots and magic, blessed be. Now, you have just presented the four elements to the besom, and now it is blessed. But there are still a couple more steps. When you are done, 
adding all the elements to the besom. Just hold your besom and caress it. No, it's Nick's and Nax. No, that it is yours. It is your companion. It is your totem. It is your protector. Hold your broom and say, I am yours and you are mine. Henceforth until the end of time. Life I give you willingly, so more to see. Here shall your new blessed besom, ready for any sending ritual and the years to come. It is now ready to be consecrated. Now, a little something about besoms is that in the old times, witches would thought to fly on them, but it was really drunken men that uh, had hallucinations and thought that witches could fly. But the truth is, us modern witches don't fly. We use airplanes. <laughs> um, and well, a little lore about the besom is that it's very popular in pagan and gypsy weddings to jump over the broom for fertility so they can be prosperous in children. Also, a common in the Wiccan community, also in the witch community, is to place uh, each besom, if you have more than one of course, uh, on every door and window for protection to not let evil spirits in. And you don't really necessarily have to put on each entrance, but it's recommendable. Also, you could get tiny brooms to place on each entrance. And also, one of my favorite spells used in the besom is a rain spell. My old granny would do it, in fact, in the old farmlands when uh, it was dry and the crops were low and she wanted rain to come. She would go out in the middle of the field tell her groom what she wanted, and she would say, Rain, rain, come this way. And then she would wave her besom clockwise three times in the air above her head, and a couple hours later the rain would come. Now, if there was too much rain, she would do the same thing, but instead move counterclockwise and say, Rain, rain, go away, please come another day. And again, a few hours, the rain will stop. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video, and that it's helpful for those that are beginners, and of course, to um, experience witches, that I uh, hope that I showed something new. And, um, well, now you know how to consecrate or let a vessel. Um, thank you for watching. Merry part and blessed be.